What do you want? What? What do you want? Tell me. We got ice already. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys have a great start to your weekend. As for me, it's a cold day here in Michigan already and we actually did get a first accumulating snow just the other day, but as of right now, it's already melted away, but that does not mean it is over, you guys. It is already mid-November and um, we're gonna get a lot of very cold, chilly temperatures they're saying across the country here, so I am not looking forward to that. So hopefully where you guys are at is a little warmer than our area, so. I hope you guys are on a great start to your weekend. And of course, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and head into the Sioux here in a little bit. My ride's going to pick me up here at 2 o'clock, and it is already about quarter after 1. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Um, we're going to go ahead, and my friend and I are going to get a bite to eat in the Sioux. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and get into Walmart real quick, pick up a couple things. I'm not telling you what it is, because it's probably not that important. Um, but regardless, um, it is going to be a pretty uh, quiet start to the day. But when I get home, i got to go ahead and feed a couple of the animals here, and you guys know... When I own like quite a few snakes, like five, six snakes, the feeding just almost never stops. Cause you gotta feed them, I gotta feed them almost daily. Like I'm not making this up. So, uh, I got really nothing to do at the moment, but tomorrow um, we're gonna be going on a really cool trip to Whitefish Point. If you guys don't know where that is, I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture uh, right here if you guys can see it. So uh, it's, it's a really cool place to visit. Um, there's a really cool uh, museum uh, called the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum, which in my entire life, I you guys know I am a true Michigander and I lived my whole life up here in the UP, but the truth is is that I have never gotten a chance to go to the Shipwreck Museum. Never. Not once in my entire life have I ever been to the Shipwreck Museum. Um, and it's something I'm looking forward to. And believe it or not, the day we're going, you guys, tomorrow is the anniversary of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. And, um... The, fam the families that lost their rel their relatives on that ship, you guys, believe it or not, the Fitzgerald went down on November 10th, 1975, shortly after 7 o'clock Eastern Time, and it was a very, very tragic event that happened, and the news rapidly spread it across the country about the ship, because the reason the ship was so special was not just because of how large it was, it was the largest ship on the Great Lakes at that time, and when she went down, it is still the largest shipwreck on the Great Lakes today, and what's even more sad about it was all... 29 crew of all the, the entire crew on the ship perished not one survived all 29 went down and uh, the cause of it was a lot of people were wondering what the cause of the ship went down was well that same night there was a huge huge storm that came right in it was a powerful storm it was like a hurricane and trust me you guys have you might have experienced hurricanes if you guys did live in the southern part of the u.s but up here those storms are about as bad as you think because when you're on Lake Superior, those winds are really nasty, and so are the waves. Some of those waves have reached heights of over 30 feet, you guys. And it's crazy. And that's what probably caused the ship to go down, is there was so much strong wind, freezing rain, and very large waves up to 35 feet high that kept hitting the ship, the ship from side to side. So, as of right now, I have a feeling the waves may have played a big factor in this. So, But anyway, I gotta go ahead and take a good seat and wait for my ride. And you guys know, when it comes to November, we get snow. And look at this. We got ice already. Already in our pool. Already got some ice. And uh... Yeah, it's not very tough, that's for sure. Look at this. Not very thick ice, that's for sure. And uh... Yeah, it's gonna be already melting because it's already above freezing. Um, but we're supposed to get even colder temperatures, you guys, starting next week. And some of the lows, they're supposed to get down into the mid-teens. So, it's kind of like last year all over again. Because this time of the year, it got about the same as this time of the year, basically. It was horrible. Um, it went from Arctic, like, negative 30 degrees. And then, like, second half of the winter was major, major winter storms. So, and that's what Farmer's Almanac has predicted once again. So, I am not looking forward to that, so... But I'm just hoping for praying for a miracle. But that's probably not gonna happen. So yeah, let's go ahead and get inside. Alright, so we made it to Pizza Hut now. I'm really hungry. You hungry? Oh, a little? A little? I had a grilled cheese sandwich at lunch. Oh. And that sounds good too. Yeah. <laughs> yummy. Some yummy breadsticks. You guys wish you were here to try one with me, don't you? <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, 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 don't even think about it. You wanna ruin my tasty meal right there. Yep, winter is here. Yuck. Well, what can I say? Welcome to Michigan, right? Alrighty, it is feeding time for my girl, Ariel. And, uh, where'd she go? Uh-oh, this can't be good. I'm kidding. She's hiding under a water bowl. Because I could see a little tunnel she made in there. You guys probably can't see it, but there it is. And, uh, don't think she'll be coming out yet, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and probably leave her dinner in there. I don't really know, so I'm gonna try and tap on her water bowl, see if she'll come out, because she's pretty good at responding. So, normally she's pretty shy, but I'm gonna give it a whirl, so here we go. <music> here you everybody I really um, wanted to cover um, this really important message that I've uh, been getting lately um, so people have been asking me whether it's at school or somewhere else maybe whether it's at a friend's house people have been asking me if, if I'm ever gonna get any more pet reptiles or snakes for that matter and uh, <clears throat> truth to be told is right now I'm not fully 100% sure um, I really want to just say that out of get that off my chest because my mom's been telling me that we have enough pets right now at the house. I got almost half a dozen snakes, four or five of them, something like that. Uh, but the truth is, I really want to get some more. As you guys know, I have still some more room here in my bedroom here. If that makes any sense. Um, I got room here in my rack system here. I still got three empty tubs here. And you guys know my rack system has four tubs in it as well. And I only got one that's in here. It's my girl Ellie, my children's python. And I still got three empty bins in there, so... I really, really want to get more more snakes, you guys. But the problem is, is that this is not my house, so this is my mother's house. So I gotta do what she says. That's how it's gotta roll. Um, but I can try and find a way to maybe sneak another one or two in. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but it, regardless, I just wanted to cover that with you guys real quick because I really gotta get going here. Uh, make some lunch, and of course I gotta feed another girl here. I mentioned her already, didn't I? And yep, she is coming right up to the top there. Thank you very much. Regardless, I wanted to cover that with you guys, so let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should I probably try to find a way to get one more reptile into the house, something different than a snake? Whether it's a leopard gecko, bearded dragon, or a turtle, maybe? Something like that? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, so... Anyway, I just wanted to get that right off my chest, so let's go ahead and be my girl Ellie. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with this, discussing like why I'm probably not going to get any more snakes for any reptiles for that matter. But, I mean, with all the room I got left here, like take for example, I mean, this is where I was going to put my girl Lucy in here a couple months ago. You guys probably saw that video where I was going to probably move her from the terrarium next door right here into the rack system here. Unfortunately, she was kind of... Still pretty small to fit in here, so I figure I had to move her back in there. Cause when I got put her in the rack system, I noticed in the back corner under there, she actually managed to climb through this little gap up there. You guys can't see it, but there's a gap up there. She managed to squeeze through actually, and um, I witnessed it. So I was not really happy with that. So I had a feeling something was not gonna go right. So I had to move her back into the terrarium here. And she's never gotten out of this one for sure, so. I'm going to keep her in there probably for another few more months and see if she can put some size onto her. Like I mentioned, you guys, um, something was definitely not right with her. Um, uh, yeah, so, of course, I still got a few more empty tubs in here. Uh, I guess you can say that's kind of empty. But anyway, uh, oh, well, look who is it. Look who it is. Yeah, I know. I see you. I see you. Yeah, I see your cute little face sticking up. So, I just wanted to tell you guys that, coming from me, from my experience, what my mom has told me, um, this, hopefully, it, it'll, she'll change her mind, so, but, anyway, I just wanted to get that off of my chest, you guys, because I've been really wanting to tell you this for the last few months, so, um, there you go, so, that's how, Chris, how clean I came out. What? <laughs> what do you want? Tell me. 
Oh, you're gonna groom yourself? Please. I don't know what she's trying to... Oh, you trying to grab my foot there? What do you want then? Tell me. Oh, again? Why? She grabs my attention and then when I turn to look at her, she does that the next thing I know. Um, do you want food? Is that what you're telling me? Okay. You already had your breakfast. Yes, you did. For you guys that don't know my cat Boo here, she's actually a, quite the pig when it comes to food. Not only will she actually eat her own cat food, but when we're actually trying to make our own food, she'll literally like beg, like sit right next to us and wait for whether it's X and L piece of a crumb that'll fall off the table and she'll literally go after it. So this cat, you guys, you have no idea how big she is. She is legit 20 pounds, so. But overall, she is a very sweet cat, so. Um, oh, you gonna say hi to the camera? Hi there. And normally, she's in a pretty good mood, and she does like to play once in a while, so. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah, you like, you wanna play? You wanna play? Aww. Maybe I'll talk to my sister into playing with you. So I hope you guys understand that right now I'm not getting any more pet reptiles or animals for that matter. Um, but the truth is, that doesn't really mean that there's not going to be any more animals here I'm going to ever get. So I can't rule that out in the near future. So, and like I, maybe I mentioned this earlier or not, but my mom has actually been thinking about getting, adopting actually a friend of hers that has a cat that doesn't get along very well. She has like five other cats, I think, something like that. And my mom's been thinking about maybe adopting that cat. It's a gray white cat, I think. So, and thinking about bringing it here, and it's a boy cat. So, I really don't know how I feel about that because normally a boy cat. Um, I talked to my aunt about this for my advice because she has kept cats longer than we have. So, um, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but it's just a thought. But regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here for the weekend, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my discussion brief uh discussion with you guys of why i'm probably not gonna get any more reptiles here that doesn't mean i'm not ever gonna get any more ever again i'm probably gonna get maybe a couple more in the near future um but regardless re anyway i'm gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog up because tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and head to the great lake shipwreck museum like i mentioned it earlier in the vlog it's gonna be a really fun trip because i've never been there before so um we'll see if there's any really cool artifacts there i'm gonna bring you guys along on the trip so regardless i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend be uh, remember, make it an awesome weekend for you guys as usual. Uh, and I promise I'm going to see you next week.